Hey, welcome back students. In this video, I want to go ahead and help you uh, learn how to calculate the energy of a wave using the wavelength. And so what we're going to do here is we're going to look at some equations. So let's begin by first identifying what's given for us. First off, we know that we've got the wavelength that's given to us here, and we're trying to find the energy. So that's what we're trying to do here. There's the given and the unknown. So if we do this, at first glance, since we're trying to find energy, we recall that we had an equation that from before that was E is equal to Planck's constant times the frequency. Now, if you look at this equation here carefully, though, you're going to notice like, oh, wait, yeah, well, this is going to work great because we've got energy. All we've really got to do is solve for energy. So we can take Planck's constant here and multiply that by the frequency. The problem is that we don't have frequency. We have wavelength. So we need to find a way to go from the wavelength over to frequency. Fortunately for us, what we've got is another equation that is the speed of light equation, which includes the speed of light represented by C is equal to the wavelength times the frequency. Now, if we use this equation, we could totally find this uh, frequency, then we could then substitute that into the overall equation next door. The way this works is the following way. And so we're going to go ahead and divide by the wavelength in both cases here. And that would give us the equation of frequency is equal to the speed of light divided by the wavelength. So using this equation here, what we can do then is take this number here and apply it right there, which would then allow us then to solve for the E. And that's kind of what I want to do for us here. I want to use this process as a way to help us solve it. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and move this over here to the side. Let me just shorten it, make it small, move it over to the side so it gives us a guide. And so what we're going to do is we're going to start with the frequency equation. We're going to take frequency is equal to the speed of light. We already know the speed of light is going to be a certain value. And so just to remind you, the speed of light is equal to 3.00 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. And we're going to take that and substitute it. So if we do that here, we're going to do this. We're just going to take the C, erase that, and we're going to put 3.00 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. And then in the denominator for that wavelength, all we're going to do is substitute the wavelength that's given to us. So let's take the wavelength off, and we're going to put 3.35 times 10 to the 4. And this is going to be in meters. Notice here at first glance, what happens is that the meter units is going to cancel in the denominator and in the numerator, leaving you the units of seconds, which is going to be the base for the hertz. And so if we follow this math out, the frequency here for us is going to be the following. And so that answer here should be an 8,955.223. And it actually keeps on going to 88059, but we're not going to write all of that. And this is going to be in meters. So this answer here is correct for the frequency. Now, because we still need to convert this over to energy, I'm not going to go ahead and convert this and give it into three significant figures. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this number and plug it right into the equation that we need in energy. So essentially, I'm going to take this, I'm going to plug it right in here. Okay. And so that's what I'm going to go ahead and do now. So let's go ahead and uh, plug this number back into the equation for E equals pro, uh, Planck's constant times the frequency. So let's get rid of some stuff we really don't need. So right here, we're going to take some stuff away. So we're going to take this away, and we're going to move up the value that we've got for the frequency right up here. And we're going to make that a little bit smaller just so it's out of the way. And so this value here is F is equal to that. Now recall from a previous video that Planck's constant is equal to the following. It's represented by h and it's equal to 6.63 times 10 to the negative 34. And this is going to be in joules seconds. And so that's the value we're going to use. The equation again is going to be the e equals h times f equation and we're going to go ahead and use that over here on the other side. So the energy for this particular wave is going to be equal to Planck's constant which is 6.63 times 10 to the negative 34. And this is going to be joules seconds. And we're going to multiply this times the number that we got up top. 
and that number is going to be the 8955.223. And so let's go ahead and multiply these numbers. And so just to single it out, it's this part right here in the white. Okay, so pay not attention to the top up stuff. We don't need that anymore. We don't actually need this portion over here anymore or this bottom portion here. I'm just going to scribble that out just so it's not in the way. So here's what we're doing. We're just going to take that 6.63 to the negative 34 power and we're going to multiply it times 8955.223. And so if we multiply that together, we finally get an answer for the energy for this particular wave to be the following. And that number is going to be 5.93731. And it's actually quite a bit longer here. 2849 times 10 to the negative 30. And this is going to be in joules. Okay. But notice here the number is way too long. And all the way through, the numbers of significant figures that we've had have been three significant digits. So our answer has to be three significant figures at this point. Notice I didn't do that for the frequency, but I will need to do this for the energy because this is the final number that we want. So we have to look here at these first three, but that allows us then to look at the seven because the seven is greater than five. That means that the three next to it is going to be upgraded into a four. So the final answer truly becomes the following. And I'll just change this to white. E equals 5.94 times 10 to the negative 30 joules. And this here is your final answer. So when they ask you what's the energy of a wave with a wavelength of 3.35 times 10 to the 4th, the answer is 5.94 to the negative 30 joules.